In the heart of today's debate lie the issues of equality, competition, and institutional fairness. Kamala Harris's message resonates with those who feel the current system is fundamentally unjust and in desperate need of reform to ensure genuine equality of opportunity. Yet, it also stirs unease among those who worry such changes might lead to preferential treatment and erode healthy competition. So capitalism in its best form is about the, the beauty of competition to create the greatest product, to create the greatest outcome. But inherent in that is an assumption that everyone starts out on the same base and then they compete and whoever wins, wins. The market, right? The market share. But that's a false assumption when you take into account the fact that not everyone comes, starts from the same place, in particular when we take into account race and gender. So what we have to do is recognize the disparities that have long exist and existed and, and take that into consideration when we want to encourage competition. The significance of capability and competition in capitalism cannot be overstated. Kamala Harris's remarks, regardless of their intent, strike at the core of the conservative belief that the free market rewards hard work and innovation. The notion of tweaking capitalism to address race and gender disparities clashes with the conservative value of individual responsibility and the conviction that we should strive for equal opportunity, not guaranteed equal outcomes. To many, this feels like a step towards socialism.